If you believe the historical facts about Jesus, does that make you a Christian? The answer is no. Well, then what is faith? How does one become a Christian? Dr. Habermas answers these questions. I want you to listen carefully. Now, you know, it's just about the... I can, I can picture an objection from the other side. Christians are saying, whoa, this evidence is starting to look so good. What about faith? I mean, facts don't get us in the kingdom of God. But faith is not a leap into nothingness. In the New Testament, without exception, faith is based on trustworthy data. Paul says, back to 1 Corinthians 15, I came and I preached to you the message, at least three things, always present in the New Testament definition of the gospel. Deity of Christ, death, resurrection. Paul said, if you believe these things, you're saved. You have eternal life. In Christianity, there's always content. We call that the gospel data. Deity, death, resurrection of Jesus. But how do you get from gospel data to salvation? There's something missing. I suggest it's facts plus faith equals salvation. But that's not accurate enough. In the New Testament, it's not facts in which we place our, place our faith. I love history. But New Testament faith is not placed in history. It's placed in the Jesus of history. Or if you prefer to get real exact here, Jesus of the gospel facts, deity, death, resurrection, plus faith equals salvation. Faith goes in the person of Jesus. You know, it's sort of like marriage. I could be convinced that a woman is the best possible person for me. She's good here, she's good here, she's good here, everything. But you know what? If I don't say I do, we're not married. And I think that's the New Testament picture. It's an analogy, but a decent New Testament picture of what faith in Jesus Christ is. We can be convinced Jesus did this, and he did this, and he did this, and oh yeah, he died for my sins. He was buried. He rose again for that. He's even the Son of God. But in the New Testament, if I don't say I do, if I don't say I trust him, if I don't commit myself to him, I'm not a Christian. And that, I think, is the key here as we're coming down to what this means. That Jesus the gospel facts plus faith equals salvation. And I think that's Paul's argument in the first few verses of 1 Corinthians 15.